Today, Hey It's Jasmine challenges me to trade up from whatever's in my pocket to an iPhone. <laughs> hey, a comb. Why do you have a comb? You know, comb my hair. Wait, wait, in three out, in three hours to an iPhone. Can you help me for a second? I'd like to get a phone. Do you think that I'd be able to trade this for a phone? For a school project. Can I trade the comb for a phone? No. I'd like to get these, but I'd like to trade a comb for it. You'd like to what? How much is this watch? Uh, $15,000. Okay. Is it possible to trade a comb for it? Yeah, sure. Yeah? No, of course not. Even though this is obviously a priceless comb, I needed to find a way to make it look more expensive than a free plastic comb I got from a hotel, which is clearly not what it is. 2.45, I've only got two hours and 15 minutes left, I've still got the comb. Do you have a pen? No. Okay. Do you have a pen? No. Do you have a pen? No, Ah, uh, nobody has a pen. <laughs> Red light, keep going. <laughs> we don't have time. Do you have a Sharpie I could borrow? A marker? Gracias. And after 20 minutes of trying to find a pen, I finally had the chance to turn this worthless comb into a work of art. Are you ready? Gucci. No, it's not spelt like that. Is that not Gucci? Do you know what that means? I thought, oh shoot. Wait, is that not how you spell Gucci? No, that's how you spell Gucci. <laughs> Woman's genitals. I kind of messed that up. It's a foreign company. It's Italian. I don't know. Hello. My mother bought me this for my birthday, but I believe it's a Gucci comb. Is there any way that I could trade it in for something else? What did your mom buy it to you? Yeah, it's a Gucci comb. Is it possible that I trade it in for something else? This? Yeah. It's not for Gucci, mister. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was. Okay, thank you. It's already enough of a punch at the ego to walk into a store like that and literally not be able to afford anything. But then to try to trade a plastic comb for a $5,000 purse. Yeah, no, that was painful. Excuse me, is it possible to trade this for a lotto ticket? What? Can I buy a lotto ticket with this? No? Do you have anything that you'd be willing to trade for a comb? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I have a pen. A pen? Yeah. Hey, I feel like a pen might be more useful. This is a really good comb. Are you down to trade? Yeah. Let's go. Thank you so much. Just got a brand new Gucci, I mean Gucci comb, best comb in the biz. We're on to writing a new history for this story. Well, that was until we met these guys. You speak English? YouTube, no? Yeah, yeah, YouTube. And even though these perfectly nice gentlemen told me they spoke English, it became very clear that they had absolutely no idea what I was trying to do. I trade you. Like, you have something to trade me? Oh, my, my. How, how? Ah, You had a deal. Yeah. Huh? Oh, you want it back? I left the conversation feeling like I somehow got scammed. That's not a What? <laughs> My attempts trading with humans were getting worse and worse. So I decided to see if any of these friendly birds were willing to trade. And as it turns out, they are not that interested in pets. But then the most insane thing happened. Do you speak English at all? Yeah. I'm trading up to something that's of greater value. And I have this pen. I traded a comb yeah. for this pen. Do you guys have anything you'd be willing to but trade? We're actually going home we're now. This so we were going to give this away to someone anyway. Okay, sweet. So. I'll trade you for that. Let's go. We got a basketball. <laughs> that's actually good. Yeah, were you in Mr. Yes, I was. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was. <laughs> you, you were the one boxing with the hand. hand. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> I knew let's go. Mind if I can get a photo? Absolutely. Yeah, let's get a photo. Made it back to the hotel room. 4 p.m. You guys. 4 p.m. I have one hour left. I'm gonna try and put this on Facebook Marketplace. I need to snap a good photo of it. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Somebody on Facebook Marketplace is gonna want this. An Oculus Quest 2. That's a good trade. I'd like to trade the basketball with you. Message sent. <gasps> An iPhone. Let's trade for the basketball. I spent a good amount of time asking the people of Facebook if they would trade for my basketball. But unfortunately for me, the people of Barcelona were not interested and we were quickly running out of time. Dave, stop laying around. It's literally 428. We don't have time. 420, please, boy. Grab the camera, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Time is of the essence, my friend. Did you change your shirt? We've been running all day. Dave, it's a shirt. Dave, let's go! And just like Facebook Marketplace, I was getting rejected left and right with time quickly fading. Morale is at an all time low. It's time we call on the troops. We need a serious morale booster. And this, this is gonna be it. That's right, here we go. Dave, let's go. So with very little time left, I rushed to the one place that I knew somebody would definitely need a basketball, the courts. This park has like nobody in it. The best thing I'm gonna be able to trade this ball for is another ball. I have one last idea, Dave. And since my bright idea of finding a hooper to trade with failed, we headed to the holy grail of trading goods. I'm wondering if I can trade you this for something. Uh, just a second. Stand up. 
This pawn shop does not value basketballs the same way that other people value basketballs. You know what? What? An iPhone. <laughs> Bye, Dave. I got an iPhone.